When it comes to English letters, which letter is this? B. Yes, this is the letter B. What sound does the letter B make? B. B. Very good. In Arabic, we have this letter, this symbol, which represents the same kind of sound. This is called the letter BA. In English, what letter is this? A. A. What sound does the letter A represent? A. A. Very good. Now, in Arabic, there's a symbol that we write above letters that also represents the same sort of sound. This is called a fatha. So, when we have a B and an A, it sounds like? BA. BA. Very good. So, when you have a BA and a fatha, it sounds like? BA. Very good. So, just like you can read this with a little bit of memorization and practice, you can also read this in Arabic. That's all that learning how to read Arabic entails. You just memorize which symbols represent which sounds and you practice.